is it just me or this episode two feel like it was very short because not much happened what's good y'all it's your good sis erica vane coming to see you right here on erica vane tv with another the family business video if you're new here hit the subscribe button and turn your bell notifications so you don't miss out on any of my the family business content and conversations i am new to breaking down this series however i have binged it over the last week catching up in seasons one through four i am still very much so hurt pissed if you will behind sasha duncan's death so i'm going to be grieving probably for the first half of reviewing season five y'all just gonna have to bear with it or get lost because i'm still mad about it but yeah hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my grieving rants and breakdowns of each new episode this episode to me was very slow even more slow than the first episode and one of the things that i do realize after binging seasons one through four is that the formula with carl weber at least within his television series because also no i have not and will not be reading any of these books and i know that there is a huge huge fandom that reads the books and also watch the series please be respectful of those who are just watching the television series do not come on my my videos or any of my contents if i choose to do lives which i think i might be doing the family business lives do not come purposefully trying to spoil the experience and the potential anticipation that fans who do not read the books actually have you can make predictions you can uh, guess with us but to come with definitive answers and try to argue in the comment sections behind what was said in the books or what was done in the books i'm telling you right now this is not the channel for that there's a lot of really great creators who have read the books i think ej the tv junkie is a really great one who has been breaking down the series i think from the beginning but has also read the books she would be a great place to like have that discourse here i'm just watching the show not reading the books and just take keep that in mind but one of the things that i realized with carl weber's television series is that whenever a new season starts he takes two to three episodes to set up the story that's going to be the main story or how things are going to be unfolding throughout the rest of the season and it works because there is you know a, a little bit of effort put in character development and again story setup however it can feel very slow when you really just want to get into whatever we need to get into with us on the heels of like season four ending and for y'all who have been watching in real time you you know you probably had like a year or so to sit with sasha's death but like i just finished just got sasha's death just got the confirmation just got the funeral just got all of these things just got like like, you know, Elsie getting out of the uh, Saint Asylum and like all of those things coming into episode one of season five, you kind of want to keep that momentum going. And it's a very low, slow build with the establishing of the story and the main big bads of season five. And again, it's not necessarily terrible, but I do know that that's the formula and it has been the formula since season one. Again, that's what I clocked just from watching in the last week, all four seasons, like straight. Yeah. Um, And I think that honestly for episode two is not really working because episode two felt like it was only like 20 minutes long 23 minutes long and it is actually a full length 42 minute episode i believe um and it's 100 percent set up so by the end of the episode we get to see lc actually taking out one of the um down south folks i'm gonna call them racist i'm gonna call them white supremacists because i'm gonna call them what they are who wanted to be paid five million up front and then one million per month to keep uh, his mouth shut about whatever he knows regarding Vegas's case. Now, this is interesting, and I guess it would help if I read the books, but because I haven't, it's building this little um, anticipation. It's building additional mystery for me. So again, don't ruin it for me, child. Um, but it's like, what is it that these people know that one, LC would be willing to pay for? Now, it kind of feels like when we get to the scene where um, LC kills the man that he might have been planning to do that all along. However, I'm not fully convinced that he is above or doesn't actually feel like going the route of actually paying for people to be silent would be a thing. So it must be some big piece of information that could one, maybe put Vegas back in jail or two, blow up the ruse because Vegas went to jail for LC. Whatever went down, it was actually LC that should have taken the fall or was responsible, but Vegas decided to do it because he felt like LC would die in jail. LC needed to run the family and Vegas could survive 16 years in jail and could come back and pick up his life where it was. Like he made a decision and a sacrifice for his family. And now LC is working in the background to try to keep that secret um, tucked. And this also adds to why he was allowed, he allowed the, the white supremacist little sheriff, yo, from down south uh, to come and have a seat at their table. In addition to wanting to expand it to the south, which we're going to start to see um, the spinoff 
the family business New Orleans, which I think this is also partly set up for all of that. Like we're starting to hear more and more about the South with this sheriff coming to the table and him controlling Texas and Arkansas, Louisiana, all of these Southern states. I think that that is going to help bridge the gap to like launch that new spinoff and um get us really interested even though the family business fans like there is like a full cult following so people gonna watch that show regardless because people just love carl weber and the family business but i think this is also a setup for this the problem for me is that i don't actually care <laughs> yet and this is just going back to my love like shout out to kofi who was a, a subscriber and friend to the channel and um they asked on my last on the episode one breakdown who was my favorite character so who are my favorite characters and my freaking favorite character is sasha duncan and she no longer here so like i am also coming into season five like looking dire like desperately looking for something to care about for a storyline to care about junior is pissing me off like i think i could have rested on junior and sonia but of course their relationship has been ether and yes i guess i'm a love girl a romance girl so the romance have has been the thing to me creating the most steady stable ground as various storylines within the family business will play out whether realistic or unrealistic um so yeah sasha was my number one favorite character then behind her was damn elijah now look at me stuck in season five looking like uh, i don't care about this racist and i don't lc you being blackmailed or having extortion to be able to bring this man to the table you got big eyes and you want to expand but also y'all still recovering like you just got your ass out the damn nut house because your crazy ass brother trapped you and all of that went down like maybe this isn't the actual time to expand and damn sure ain't the time to expand on the back of a white man and his other little uh white racist homeboys that's all I got. Like, that's all I really have. And aside from that, LC's storyline is also that he is having erectile dysfunction. So Chippy is like, I need it, I need it, I need it. And he can't provide it. And instead of talking to her about that, he decides that he gonna go and uh, purchase a goddamn uh, a practice for Brandy. So she has a nice safe place to land and then talk to her about it. He don't want to take no pills. So she pre prescribes him some um, herbal remedies or whatever, which... It's so funny because Chippy apparently also spiked something with some Viagra to try to get him moving and it didn't work any goddamn way. But the whole thing about that is you got Brandy a practice and you want to thank her for, for coming through. And she wound up coming through at the end, but she didn't believe your ass when you first said it. She was so in love with your goddamn son that she tried to ruin your son's goddamn life. But she also don't know what you look like. Didn't actually believe you. She's talking about you might be having erectile dysfunction because of the prescription pills that you had when you was down on the, at the damn nut house. But these are the damn prescription drugs that she prescribed your ass and shoved down your throat so also not too much lc i'm looking at brandy because brandy is right in the in the same boat for me as consuela girl not too much don't make too much noise sit your ass over in the corner don't draw too much attention because you were supposed to been catch a bullet anyway brandy been nutty brandy been crazy and to see her actually like get a position to win this season is pissing me off even more especially because sasha's dead like why in the hell is consuela uh landing on her feet why in the hell is brandy landing on her feet and we got uh y'all had to scrape sasha's body up out the goddamn bay what is going on here lc you over here all all appreciative and grateful for the woman who shoved all them goofy ass narcotics down your throat because she's nutty you bought her a practice so that she could be nutty with everybody else girl i do not give a damn about your history with mental health and your family because you're full of shit honey you're really full of shit excuse my language y'all i'm really trying to stop cussing but i don't like brandy's ass i really don't I can't stand her. And Elsie sitting up here tucking tail and being nice and da, da da Like, this girl tried to ruin your son's life all because he was giving her the dick and he stopped. And she knew what it was. She was thirsty from the jump. Ridiculous from the jump. She tried to recreate heat and wind up creating a drug that created zombies and killed people. Gave them see Like, and you're going to hand her over a practice? Y'all, y'all, LC's not beating the allegations that his ass is going crazy. That his little stint in the nut house and all the things that Larry did to him is going to have an effect on him mentally. Something is going on. It is not just something down below. It's something up top. He, his ass ain't right. And I talk about that in my video, Did LC Lose His Mind? Because it's given. Yeah, it's given that. And y'all know what? Let's keep this thing going about characters that's getting on my goddamn nerves. Because Rio, step to the front. Why are you following Lojack? Why are you following a low level car mechanic and or crooked ass car thief? Why are you sitting in your damn car seething? 
with a gun in your hand, ready to kill. Lo like you're Rio, Rio, be for real, please. You want to kill Lojack for what? For what, Rio? This is why nobody calls you to actually do anything. This is why you're not one of the assassins out the group. You have proximity to danger. It's very much so given Nevada. Yeah. Yeah, it's given what Nevada gonna be when he grow up. Except for Nevada is way, way more intelligent than you. But both of y'all really ain't gonna bust a grape in a fruit fight. And the fact that you actually are trying to kill and or harm Lojack behind him returning your goddamn mama's car from the actual car thieves. You could be spending your time being go, go, gadget, or Carmen San Diego, go find the boys who actually robbed y'all. But no, you're trying to sit outside and, and, and stalk Lojack. Pathetic, okay? It's giving pathetic. Only for you to find out that your sister banging him. So guess what? Now, you can't put hands on him. Which you shouldn't have been putting hands on him to begin with. Or wanting to put hands on him to begin with. Ain't there a goddamn drink that needs to get mixed? An inventory order to, to, to assess? Like, Rio, go find something to do. Go fall in love. Go fall down some stairs. Go do something. Go fall. Do something. Because his character has infuriated me low-key for the last four seasons. Behind the whole sliding Sebastian heat behind your family back and never suffering any consequences for it at least paris when she do some goofy shit some emotional shit it it actually blows up in her damn face and she has to suffer the shame and the guilt from doing the dumb thing that she did rio has been doing dumb stuff for the last four seasons and everybody has let him get away with it because he got glitter in his hair yeah no you're dumb now while london is too busy having rendezvous with uh with lojack Mariah is sneaking out and running away and getting trapped at some goofy ass <laughs> motel down in Bayshore all because she believes her mother killed her father because he's still missing. Now she does make a stop by Raven's house which prompts Raven to call uh, London that morning and London got nothing but smoke for the side chick as she should but I'm so glad that they actually reveal why um why mariah is acting out because i get it her father being missing that's one thing but for her to believe her mother had to have killed her father that takes it up a whole other notch and that makes everything that she's doing and all the responses that she's had thus far make so much sense and london is going to have to put her own sh aside and try to suss out and get to the bottom of what's going on with mariah so that she can reassure her of like okay i didn't actually kill your father i don't have nothing to do with it i don't don't know where he is but you're gonna be fine because your father is a clown i mean you can't tell him that but he is a clown a clown and raven bless your little goofy ass heart because you just the second in line to the to 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 wed and bed the clown that is harris orlando's back in town nevada picks him up from the airport his first order of business is to run down on junior as he should because junior you're stupid you're completely dumb sir you think that your siblings knew about it, so that's why you're also punishing them. But what the hell about your wife, sir? What about your wife? She's not supporting you? How the hell is she not? <sighs> Junior, <laughs> when I catch you, Junior. <laughs> because the way one of the, the gravest pet peeves of mine is watching a black man throw away his blessings, casting his pearls before swine. <sighs> Anyway, Orlando stops by the Hellfire Club because that's where, you know, um, Junior has taken up residence, especially now that his mama is back. She done turned around, did a red eye back from Vegas because whatever went down with the man, he was doing too much and she should have just stuck with Detroit Red. Girl, girl, Donna, we'll deal with you in the next episode because uh, thank God you came back because he had to get them hoochies up out of his house. Junior, the fact that you're actually over here cheating on your wife because you found out your mama is not your mama. That gives you was always gonna be a cheater. That you was that you low-key always been a degenerate. And this is not even me trying to like dismiss his feelings, because he has very real feelings of betrayal, which makes sense. I really just do not understand the discarding of Sonia. Especially after y'all took us through hell and high water and so many people died so that y'all could be in love and so that y'all could be together and so that you could run off and you not without my Sonia. What happened to that energy? What happened to the not without my Sonia energy? You literally discard this girl because she happened to be in the room when your family announced one of the biggest secrets that they have been holding back from all of y'all. And now she is to be punished and to be blamed. Meanwhile, she's carrying your child. And you two fuck face the note. <sighs> when I tell you, <laughs> Julia's pissing me off so bad. So bad because it could all be so simple. And he want to make it hard. Like, 
I'm sitting there watching the scene with Orlando and Junior talk and I get your hurt, but also you're going about this a complete wrong way. And then also while you're going about it a complete and utter wrong way, which I'm not saying that you shouldn't have smoke people, you should, but Sonya shouldn't be on that list. You have absolutely no smoke for Donna. Donna gets to prance her happy ass around in her white, all cute and shit, and you just letting it ride. As if she didn't utilize, withhold this information from you and utilize it at the most appropriate time for her. She's manipulating you. Yeah, she could love you, but she's manipulating you for her own personal emotional gain. But you too stupid to see that. And then also, y'all, in this episode, we get more from Roman, who is a little dummy that Brandon robbed Chippy with. And apparently Roman's supposed to be a big deal coming. Like, I've seen some things in some Facebook groups about him. Like, oh, finally an introduction to Roman. He looks like a clown to me. A clown. A clown. Yes, a clown. Because you sitting up here talking about something. You've been in the streets since you was 16, but you don't know the Duncans. So clearly you wasn't in the streets. Clearly you wasn't really doing nothing. Clearly. And then when you sit in front of the other dude that you trying to get jumped into his crew about, you talking about some all oh, was in middle school. So was it in high school or was it in middle school? Because when you're 16, you're in high school. Which one is it? So you're also a liar. Well, clearly you're a liar. You're criminal you and then y'all try like carl carl please carl weber please because you're trying to slide in oh his mama needs money for some do some treatment it's not going to help this boy i don't give a damn about him i'm not rooting for him and there's plenty of criminals on this show that i'm like look see that you you had to catch that bullet because you had did this thing so orlando had to da 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 da, da. i have no problem rooting for criminal activity but roman is not one of those and y'all not gonna win me over to root for him i don't give a damn how fine he is He's simple, he's a clown, he's researching the Duncans and then still playing like they small potatoes. Yeah, that kind of arrogance is the stuff that gets you killed or put in jail. Enjoy it. Can't wait to see you rot, sir. Um, I think that's pretty much it from the episode, y'all. It's interesting. <laughs> Shout out to my, my animosity for Harris, my pissed offness with Junior. Because I feel like that's where all the energy for this video actually came from. I wasn't even sure that this video would have been interesting. Because I really felt like the episode left a lot to be desired. And while I'm not mad at Lojack in London, I don't think that they're going to give me the romance thieves that I actually need. And I also think that I'm about to stop rooting for, for uh, couples in this show. Because I can't never have nothing nice. Y'all let me know what you thought about the episode in the comment section down below. It's your good sister you love to talk TV with. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, this is, if this is the first time or the second time that you're seeing the video, you're not convinced yet. I hope that this video has convinced you and you hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like. It helps me out so much. It lets YouTube know that you liked it. And I should continue to make content just like this. And I'll see you in my next one.